Hello and good day to all. I'm Tom Ranson from TomRanson.com, and this is the App Review Show, episode seven. This week, I'm going to look up at I'm going to look at backup software because my hero is now completely clean of everything. I just did a ROM upgrade, and then it's literally all I've done is turn the device on, put in my Google account, and um, it seems to be upgrading itself for some reason, and put in my Google account and the Wi-Fi to connect to the internet. And it seems to have already downloaded the first device here, my backup. Obviously, it's saved it something on the SD card to tell it to automatically download. So we're into my backup. It just gives it. My backup is free, but my back, but it will only go for 30 days. You have to pay for my backup pro, which is 4.99, I do believe, if you want to use it after that. But I'm only using it for this situation. So I've already backed up my stuff. So let's click restore. I backed up my contacts and. Um, my home screen layout. Actually, before we back up that, let's go to the marketplace and we can download my other backup software, which is more important because that includes my. Um, oh, accept the terms and conditions. The other backup software I want to look at called Astro File Manager. And backed up my applications. So if we back up my, if we restore my applications first, there we go. Astro File Manager complete. Download complete. Come on. Installed. Right. Let's boot this up. Back up my, restore my um, application. So this is a file. It's basically a file manager. It's very clever. It's got all. My files. This is my um, SD card. It's got all the stuff. It's got my music, MP3 players, HTC Sync there, downloads, all stuff from our various applications. Across the top, we've got the home button, which takes you to the home thing, which in this case is set to SD card. We've got up, which goes up a level in the directory. Multi, I'm not entirely sure what all of these things do. Search is completely self explanatory. Back and next is self explanatory. View changes, list or icons. A sort in self explanatory preferences just takes you to the preferences. There you go, look look and feel, blah 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 blah. What I'm interested in though is you press menu, tools, application manager backup. It will look through my packages. I want to look at the backed up applications though. Tick them all, install. Oh, Okay, well this is something that you've learned. You have to allow it to uh, install applications from unknown sources. Okay, so there we go. That has taken me about five minutes of clicking install and then clicking done. That is something that this program really needs to work on. You need to be at that is really, especially, if, I mean, I don't have that many apps compared to other people. I know people that have more apps than me. So that needs to be worked on. Anyway, let's look at the features of this a little more. Um, you can scroll through all your folders, obviously, and when, you, when you're when you scrolling up and down, you've got this little slider here that pops up, which you can then grab and slide up and down. Obviously, this works like any other file manager. This is just all your files, and it has some added features across the top, and then these features across the bottom. Different views, edit, new folder, bookmarks, the tools app, so you can drop into the process manager and it will tell you in great detail everything that's running on this um computer on this Android device. Like literally everything. Like there's touch input there, there's dialer, browser, stock, just every absolutely everything. And all your services that are running in the background, so you can PC synchronization, look, the Android system, touch input again. It's really really comprehensive. Well that's basically Astro File Manager. Um, I downloaded it off of the. Um, off, off, I downloaded it because of the recommendation that uh, Lee Geary from a uh, cool smartphone gave me, or well, give it gave everybody. He's always mentioning that program, so I thought I'd download it. Works very well, but 
went back up my contacts, which is what I wanted. So, if we just drop in here, as you can see, I've got all my apps back, all the apps in the world. I I downloaded my backup. Here we go. Which is backed up. My contacts, my home screen layouts, my settings, and my calendar. So let's click the. Well, first of all, let's have a look at everything. You can manage your backups, obviously. See, look, I can manage that. I won't do anything to it because I don't want to damage it. View the backups, schedule regular backups, backup and restore. So, backup obviously, you've got applications or data. If you say data, like your contacts, you can even back them up online. I like to back them up to the SD card because it's just easier. And then when you click that, it gives you a list and you can select contacts, calls, bookmarks, SMS, MMS, system settings, Android Home, alarms, dictionary, calendar, and music playlist. Quite comprehensive. Didn't need all of those, just a few of them. But let's click the restore and let's hope that it works. I selected my backup folder, it's unzipping. Check all, I want all of those back on this phone, thank you. Overwrite your current data, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. And we will see what happens. I have over 100 contacts, as you can see there. Um, this might take a while. It was uh, a little quicker than this when it was backing it up originally. Um, Obviously it's got to write to the phone this time rather than just reading and then saving it in a file. Mm, I'm assuming that that's probably a longer process. Um, my, there's some sync stuff crashing in the background. don't know if that's probably that's something to do with Google. Uh, now this is going to take a while. I've got over a thousand messages bring the screen back on that. Um, yeah, um, well, we're, yeah, we'll come back to this once it's finished uh, restoring. Okay, so here you can see it is done. It says it's done everything that it's supposed to have done. Oh, and I've got to restart the phone, apparently. Okay, well, we'll be back after a uh, short break again. This is a bit tedious, isn't it? Okay, so here we are. We've rebooted. We're back. With any luck, the home screen here will resemble my old home screen. That's sort of right. I had a background, but everything's... Everything's in the right order. Just missing a um, an icon here. That was my messages. That could be easily put back in. So yeah, two, two applications. Astro File Manager I'd recommend as a download just for the file manager aspect of anything else, it's very good. And my backup seems to have done quite a good job of restoring all of my stuff. Um, both worth a download. My backup's only a trial though for 30 days, so I'd recommend when you go to update your ROM, download it, use it, and then you can don't have to use it again. Um, well, there you go, those are the two apps. My Backup and Astro File Manager, both free. My Backup Pro, 499 on the marketplace. Thanks for watching this week. I've been Tom Ranson from TomRanson.com. Um, leave me a message uh, at review at TomRanson.com if you wanna. Um, if you got any ideas for another app, uh, comment this YouTube video. Um, Follow me on Twitter at Tom Ranson, or one word, T O M R A N S O N. Thanks very much. I will see you next week with a brand new application.